Shalom Aleichem, blessed souls. This is Dhamma Talk, and this is also... Yosef Goodman. Right, my son. Yosef, do you like learning Torah? Yeah. Why do you like learning Torah? Because it looks interesting, but but the best learning in Hebrew, uh, learning the stories because it looks interesting. Okay, very good. So we're going to tell a story now. But before that, uh, again, we're, we're going to be talking about Abraham Shield Part 2 of Yitzhak Ginsburg, who lives in Kfar Chabad, the village of, uh, of uh, Chabad in, the, in Eretz Israel, close to Tel Aviv. Before that, I want to proceed with a little teaching from the Altar Rebbe, the first Rebbe of Chabad, blessed souls, that he mentions here that whoever establishes times for Torah in the day and the night, Yosef, do you learn Torah in the day and the night? Um, yes. Good. According to the free time that they have, that person will be meritorious to be a tabernacle and a dwelling place for the Shekhinah, the Divine Presence, twice each day if he only has or she only has enough time in the day and in the evening, in the morning and the evening. So a person should be happy and give thanks for that. Yosef, are you happy when you learn Torah? Yes, on Shabbos. Right. And how about every day? Um, in school I learn all faith okay, after very good. 100 attendance. Right. Okay, and then you give thanks for that too. You're happy, right? Yeah, that's okay. right. So let's go now quickly, blessed souls, uh, into this story, uh, reviewing. Um, it was the time of the Roman exile, the beginnings of it after the destruction of the Second Temple. And the one of the senators, a fear of the Most High, was aware of a decree that in 30 days the Jews, heaven forbid, were going to be wiped out by the Roman government. So one of the Roman senators who feared Hashem came to Rabbi Gamliel and disclosed the decree. And it says that our rabbis, this is according to again uh, uh, the Midrash, uh, Devonim Rabbi, the great Deuteronomy, our rabbis were in great distress, but the God-fearing man said to him, do not be distressed, within 30 days, the Almighty of the Yehudim, the Jews, will arise to help them. At the end of 25 days, he revealed the decree to his wife, and she said to him, 25 days have already gone. He replied, there are still five days remaining. Now his wife was even more righteous than he, and she said to him, have you not a ring? <clears throat> and there's a parenthetical statement inserted into this midrash for those who would not be aware of this, of the customs of his time in the Roman society. In order to be able to commit suicide when necessary, Roman senators wore a ring with poison in it. So his wife instructed him, suck it and die, and all the session of the Senate will be suspended in your honor for 30 days, and the decree will not come into force. He followed her advice, sucked his ring, and passed away. When the rabbis heard of this, it was sad, right? Yeah. Yeah. When the rabbis heard of, of it, they came to his wife to express their sympathy. The rabbi said to her, alas, for the ship that has sailed without paying her dues, meaning thereby that this righteous man, her husband, had not merited to be circumcised. The truth is, but so is Aben Noach, one of the blessed descendants of Noah's three sons, Ham, Japheth, and Shem, there is nothing incumbent upon them to have such sacrifice for the nation of Israel. Yet he, got, he went beyond the letter of the law. He was actually a very pious person. Said his wife to them, the rabbis who came to console her, I fully understand the meaning of what you say by your life. Before the ship sailed, she paid her dues. At once, this righteous man's wife, who herself was pretty righteous, because she was able to accept, accept her husband's decree and lose her marriage as a result of it, at once she entered the chamber and brought out to them a box containing his foreskin with rags full of blood upon it. The rabbis applied to him the following verse, which is written in Psalms, Tehillim, chapter 47, verse 10. You can look it up yourself, blessed souls. The princes of the peoples are gathered together, the people of the God of Abraham, for unto God belong the shields of the earth. He is greatly exalted. So we'll pick up next time, blessed soul, on this note. And Yosef, I'd like you to come on my lap and let's, let's, we'll say, Laham Shir. Laham Shir. Bezer Hashem, with Hashem's help. Let's look at the camera. Sababa. Sababa. Rejoice. Rejoice. Ahavachad. Ahavachad. One love. One love. Boreachad. Boreachad. In the one creator. The one creator. Badarchi. Badarchi. Noam. Noam. In a pleasant way. Udarchi Shalom. Udarchi Shalom. In a, uh, a peaceful way. A peaceful way. Bagoral Echad. Bagoral Echad. One destiny. One destiny. Lukulana. Lukulana.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.